Hello people, my name is Rage, and welcome one and all to Hearthstone High Chicks, where we build and play a deck that, uh, well, I mean, one of them's called Where's the Tree, so, I mean, what are, what are you, what are you, what are you hoping for here, because if it's expert deckmanship with a severe knack for theory crafting, you're not gonna find it, but if it's a load of fun, welcome aboard! So, I have got three separate, only, League of Explorer card decks, because, of course, once an expansion is finished, you have to do a hijinks where you can only use cards from it, I mean, that's just common sense here. So, we've got Druid, Rogue, and, uh, Priest, just because I like the class cards that they got. Super pants! Our opponent is quite literally got super pants! I am, I mean, I'm excited. I, oh look, and my opening hand was all three of the Druid League cards. That's really interesting. That's kind of cool. I'm happy that happened. I think I need a spell more than a minion. Oh, and a lease. Brilliant. Just because there's a good chance I... Uh, I'll get Dark Whispers. Everybody likes Wisps, just because there's not many spells in this entire deck. In fact, the only spells are two Raven Idols. I can't know anything about that unless I draw a two mana, which I, of course, didn't. But that's fine. Mounted Raptor next turn is going to be a pretty good play. Unless it gets, like, I don't know, Coin Polymorphed, but what are the chances of that? This isn't that threatening, because we can't really buff it. Actually, no, we could Dark Whispers it. I just realized the buff was pretty good. Oh god, we're just playing against Tempo Mage. That's... Hmm. We're... we're screwed. <laughs> we're absolutely so thoroughly screwed, it's not even worth thinking about. She's gonna play spells, and then that's gonna... yep, there we go. And then the thing that pops out of it is going to immediately die. Oh no, we got Sir Finley! And he's fine. Sir Finley is fine, but he's dead. Sir Finley is dead. Sir Finley is dead dead. Uh, but at least we've got Elise on the field now. We're, we're so screwed. <laughs> I mean, as long as there isn't a polymorph, I can't... Uh, oh my god. Oh my god. I, I... I'm being destroyed by super pants. I... I don't know how I feel about... Oh my god, we instantly get the golden monkey map. But I don't know how I feel about this. I'm quite literally being destroyed by super pants. That's... That hurts me. Oh my god, the removal is strong. The removal is perfect as well. I don't even really know what to say at this point. I'm so dead. I am so, I just can't play anything. Hey, turn field! Oh yeah, you! Everybody likes a turn field! There you go! Oh, turn field! Good old turn field! I'm sorry for trying to have fun, Super Pants. I'm sorry for trying to have fun. I, I shouldn't have tried. It was my fault. I thought maybe I could enjoy my time in Hearthstone. But as it turned out, that's not something I'm allowed to do. <laughs> it's just not something I'm allowed to do. My wobbling runs will never be released from their cage. No, they won't. No, they won't. What was that, though? Are you serious? Greetings of Wintervale. I can't... I <laughs> just... It's just not even possible. It's just not. Well, Druid tried. All right, Druid gave it his Balfurian Ad a go. What a great go! I'll I'll be real. He walked up to the play and tripped and smashed his face and got himself knocked out. That was his contribution to the team. But the point is that he tried, and you know you can't blame someone for trying. You know they they you can't blame someone for giving it their all. Hey, this is an okay hand. We got a one, two, and a three guaranteed, so we can get rid of that. And Reno, awesome. We only have to basically get to fatigue to use you. And Archthief, well, a real menagerie of legendaries. Sir Finley, who's up for an adventure? Life tap is kind of nice. It's the best hero power in the game, so it's always good to see. Ah, oh, look at him. He's in the festive spirit. I'll I'll give him a happy feast of Wintervale, just so he knows. Oh, he even thinks I'm a champion. It's just so nice of him. Thinks I'm a champion. All right, well, let's see what this is going to do. And is it a get down? It is a get down. Now, let's go for our jeweled scarab and see what we get offered. I'm hoping for something good. Cogmasters, yeah, we'll go with Saboteur. Just to prevent him doing a turn three uh, hero power pass, kind of force him into a little bit of action. I mean, it's not great options all round, but at least the stats are okay. I am obviously going to trade my Scarab here. Sir Finley needs to live for, honestly, as long as possible. 
I nearly immediately killed him after saying that, because I'm intelligent. Haha, <laughs> no summoning a 1-1 one -one for you! Get countered, Nico! Whoa! He's not bowling? He's playing Hearthstone? Maybe he's upgraded. Hey, cousin! You want to jewel me? <laughs> Brilliant. So obviously Tomb Spider next turn is great because it'll probably give me a nice curve for five or six, especially if I got a food high main or the like. But let's see what happens. Are we facing Murloc Paladin? Is that what's happening here? We'll go with the Tiger, just so we definitely have something to play next turn. And then I'm sorry, Sir Finley. I'm just... In fact, no. No, I'm keeping Sir Finley alive. I don't want Sir Finley to die. He's my friend. And also, he's a Murloc, so he can't buff Murlocs while I have Sir Finley on the field. And also, the tiny fin... No! Sir Finley! He valued killing Sir Finley over the four attack saboteur. That is just cruel. That is heartless beyond heartless. And then we get to just do a nice trade there, so... Thanks for that war leader. Unless he's got a plan. He's probably got a plan. If his plan is to just hero power, though, it's not a great plan. And he's thinking about it. He's thinking about it. Oh, okay. What is with today's hijinks? I either get trashed in three minutes or win in three minutes. I'm, I'm feeling like something's up. I guess we'll go with By the Dark. Because obviously he's all about light, is Anduin. But all of his cards that he got from League of Explorers are pretty dark. I mean, he's trapping people in tombs. He's releasing waves of evil energy. And he's stealing from the dead. So he's just, he's kind of gone astray. Obviously, if this game doesn't last as long as well, we'll go back to the other decks. I just... I didn't really expect this from K5 Vortex. Good old K5 Vortex. I'm glad we do. Museum Curator. We'll get rid of the Tiny Fin. As much as I love the Tiny Fin, we don't need him in our opening hand. Awesome. Back-to-back -back Curators is fantastic. And then, obviously, Scarabin. Basically, we've got all the discovery going on here. Just a good large amount of discovery. All right, so K5 Vortex, you shaman -y shaman. Probably going to be aggro shaman, isn't it? That's... That does seem the way to go. So, yeah, we're going to lose in four turns. Happy days. Let's do the combination lock on. Oh, this different combination lock today. And it's a mummy. Good old mummy. And what are we going to get? Hopefully a... Ooh, what do I take? What do I... Ah, let's go for the more fun one. Let's go for the more fun one. And, no, okay, what do we got this time? Oh, it's just the mummy again. Does it change each time you load in? Because I have had snakes in this tomb, so I know there is definitely multiple options. But either way, let's discover ourselves a new death rattle. Definitely sludge belcher there. What a nice little card. I think this is certainly acceptable, at least in Priest, because you're used to having low damage in the early game anyway, so I think it's really fine. Please don't be anything... Uh, I was about to say, as long as it's not Totem Golem, that's absolutely A-OK, -okay, but of course it turned out to be Totem Golem. We'll get rid of both of the uh, curators for that, and then he, with a little bit of luck, will trade with the Golem, so that's alright. And then we got our Tomb Spider, which is still free-free. I mean, it's okay. It's not great, but it's okay. And then Sludge Belcher piloted is fantastic. So we just need to survive, basically, one more turn. Ah, oh, that sucks. And he went face anyway, which actually is the best option, given that he got buffed up. What are we going to get? I guess Muckler's Champion is the best card there. It's just very slow, and I don't think we're going to get a chance to play it. I can at least trade the Spider for the Golem and play Belcher, which should ward him off for a little while. I just kind of want to get to Archfiend. I mean, I'd love to Golden Monkey it. I'm kind of tempted to do a Hijinx where I have to Golden Monkey it. Just don't get lucky again, please. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. Unless he busts out... Oh, god damn. I mean, he might trade the Argus, so at least I get something out of this Tomb Spider. Nope, I do at least get to kill the Tomb Golem. That's kind of a mistake from him, honestly, because now he's got nothing on this side of uh, the uh, Flame Tongue to take advantage of it, and he'd still have to trade both his Argus and the Spell Power Totem, and then still hit the Slime It Spawn. Some kind of... holy shit. I mean, two of those attacks is still getting... blocked. What is this hijinx? Why has every game been the most furiously fast stomping I've ever seen anywhere? It's like, it's... Wow. I, wow. It's okay, we're gonna, we're gonna get something amazing here. It's gonna be fantastic. Don't you worry about it. It's just gonna be the absolute best you've ever seen. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... 
Yeah, I'm dead, but at least we can play the tiny fin, you know? That's that's the important part here. What is going on? We've played three entire games of Hearthstone in less than ten minutes. What? <laughs> what is going on? I'm gonna go for Priest again. I kind of enjoyed that, I think. I don't know. At this point, I, any, anything could happen. It really could. Murlocs everywhere. I don't even know. I don't even know. It's just unbelievable. Unbelievable! And the like. I don't I don't know what we're doing. It's fine. Nobody panic. Nobody panic! Ooh, we got Bran. Bran's worth keeping, of course. Get those sweet, sweet battle cries. And Tomb is fine. I think Priest is best because he ah! I may have nearly uh, thrown my mouse on the floor. Nobody, nobody worry about that. Nobody, nobody think about my girly scream. It's okay. You don't need to quote me on that. It's fine. It's fine. What you actually heard was just Danny screaming in the next room. She does that all the time. It, it wasn't me. Jeweled Scarab is going to be our turn one play. Why the hell not? We're not like we're going to draw anything better. Shockingly, we didn't. And... Valen's chosen 100% to give us a little bit more of an option. I mean, I would love for one of these games to actually go down to the wire. No, my scarab! I mean, they're just walking up to this poor innocent beetle and stabbing it. That is what is going on here, and that is just tragic. Well, we'll heal my own face and then pass. I guess we will brand, just because probably the rogue will put a lot of investment into killing it. Maybe a backstab, a eviscerate, and uh, that's pretty good. And then obviously if we can get Velen's Chosen onto Bran, we're going to be looking good with a 4-8. Which is pretty meaty for turn 4. And obviously it's our unreal choice. Oh no, we did get the Curator. I'd rather do the Curator and then Velen's Chosen it, because it's much more likely Sylvanas will do nicely. It's much more likely to get ignored, because it's only a lowly one too. I mean, what's it gonna do? Nothing, I know. Tomb Pillager. That kinda sucks, because I can't even buff that up and then kill it. So I guess we're just gonna play the Gorilla Bot for now, and then go a little bit of face. I can get past this, because obviously the Barilla, gor Barilla? The Barilla Bot can get buffed up quite nicely. And if I can get to Sylvanas, that's fine. And then obviously Dijini. Dijini over here. Dijini is Ephors. If we can get double Velen's chosen value. No, my Gorilla, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't kill my Gorilla. He's a Gorilla Bot. No. How could you? How could you? And then... And then you would backstab a poor, innocent museum curator. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that was such a waste of backstab. Like, that was such a waste of backstab. There was no reason to use backstab when you have the battle cry of the SI to fall back on. That is a terrible decision by him. Not that it matters, because, of course, he's still going to just kill me. But it's nice to know these things. All right, we'll play that. And then, obviously, next turn, we could Bran and Velens if the Ginny gets ignored. I doubt it. It's going to be the Tomb Creator and a face it, but at least that still requires him to finally lose the five attack ridiculousness going on here. And then I can Sylvanas, but Sylvanas might just get sapped. There's a good chance of it happening. Oh yeah, it's the new revived miracle rogue going on here because of the extra coins from Tomb Pillager making it fantastic. And then the conceal, look at him getting ready all sneaksy for his miracling next turn. That kind of sucks. I mean, I say it like I'm not bothered, but in reality I am very, very dead. <laughs> He's got a full seven mana auctioneer to start burning away through his day. Oh, he's just he's just killing me. I mean, I guess that means he's not doing any Tinker Oil shenanigans, so that's nice. Deadly Poison, okay. I mean, probably should have re-equipped his weapon so he gets multiple charges out of it. Oh, now he's going for a bit of SI7 to the face. Okay, all right, I see. What's the plan here? So that's the plan, Joyce. Good old Joyce. Everybody knows Joyce. Really likes Joyce. And more concealing. Phenomenal. Just phenomenal. I am so dead. <laughs> I am so dead. It's, it's, I didn't, what did I say? What did I say would happen to Sylvanas as I played her? What did I say? What is with people playing competent meta decks at rank 18 and their inability to rank up with them unless they face shit like this? I just don't get it. I just don't I get it. I really really don't understand why I'm being robbed of fun Hearthstone games today. <laughs> why is this happening? Oh god, the amount- I'm just gonna get into a new game because I don't want to sit here 
and watch this rogue cast a bajillion spells and then kill me in one go. I, normally, while laddering, I of course would, just in case there was a chance of coming back from it. But at this point, no. We'll see if we can find the tree again. We'll see if we can somehow Malfurion ourselves up a tree. And now that we've got to this point, I'm predicting that this game, of course, will go to, like, turn 15 fatigue, because, you know, if we've had four incredibly fast games, now that a fast game would be a nice way to round off the episodes, we're going to have the longest game in the history of ever, which I would actually be quite happy with, because I want to play all my cards. I want a golden monkey. Is that just too much to ask? I just simply want a golden monkey. Ooh, we can Sir Finley Murgleton to start with, so that's exciting. We'll get rid of the runts and the devil saw for now. Hopefully we get a turn two drop. We do, and we got the jungle moonkin, which doesn't really help me unless I raven, raven idle into a spell that's affected by spell damage, though it could end up being a moonfire. Zero mana, three damage is pretty good value. Who's up for an adventure? Screw my uh, druid powers. I want something incredible. Like I'm going to swap it for basically the same power, but I take less damage using it. Nice! Uh, huge Toad, definitely next. We could actually Beast Druid quite nicely. I'm kind of tempted to see how Beast Druid goes with the few new cards that they got, but alas, alack, now is not the time. And Huge Toad going out. This is looking good. We're actually allowed to play cards. Though I have a feeling it's just going to be a stomp in my direction now, isn't it? Can you imagine a Druid straight up using Fireballs? That's just so, so bad. Hopefully I draw something I can actually play. Ooh, at least this early is good. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to use my hero power anyway, so there's no point injuring one of my two guys here. This one doesn't matter too much because he's in Consecrate range, whatever happens, but still, I'd rather keep him fresh and healthy if something, I don't know, like Elven Archer gets played because, you know, everybody plays a lot of Elven Archer. And piloted Shredder. This might be fine because I can do that and then it'll splash. Actually, it might only splash after, before the uh, pilot pops out, to be fair. So that might go wrong. We'll see what happens. And, yeah, it did. Cut purse is not bad. We'll injure it down just so I can ping it at the start of my next turn. That's kind of annoying. It gives him a lovely extra coin for him to use. And he has already used his coin, so that is genuinely useful. But I had to protect it. Oh, he's not actually going to use it. I mean, he's going to obviously attack my face and keep it, so that makes sense. Do I want to get rid of that? I'm going to go for a spell and see if we end up getting something like Swipe, which would be incredibly handy here. Let's see. Mark of Nature, Wrath is going to be the play, because then we can do this and discover a Shade of Naxxramas will do. And then we're going to do free damage to the Shredder. I was tempted to do one here and get rid of it, but I'd rather trade trade, because there's not much that can come out of here that uh, can't be dealt with with free attack. And we're back to being on top. Wonderful. And then next turn, perfect on-curve wobbling runts. The best kind of runts. Because, you know, it's very stable runts just aren't as exciting, because you just you know that they're not going to fall over. Where's, where's the joy of simple wobbling? Ooh, that coin. Coin doing good things for him. Oh, he coined out the Kodo. I mean, no, my 1-1 one, one Scarab. Why did, why did he just throw away his... It's not like he had too many cards in his hand. I'm genuinely confused as to why he just threw away his coin. Obviously, this card is terrible against Priest because it can get stolen with Let Me Change Your Mind. But in general, I like it. It's got good flavor and it's got a fairly large amount of stats for its cost. No, my runts! My poor, poor runts. That's so super sad. I mean, the Kodo will probably eat Elise next, which is something I probably don't want to imagine. And then we can kill that with the runts and still get a little bit of extra value, so that's fine. We'll go there. Boom. Toad. Ping. And then these lot can kill a load of things. This is actually a nice back and forth battle. I'm excited. And at any point, we can draw the map to the Golden Monkey. And, proc and then proceed to literally not find it at any point. No! The perfect counter! At least the Toad's going to kill the one one. Why did I even say anything? Why did I even let my hopes be raised? I just don't rightly know what we got. What we got, a mounted raptor's not bad. 
Yeah, let's go for Mounted Raptor and the Jungle Moonkin. Let's get both of these uh, new Druid cards in the mix here. So they can obviously both go there. That can go there. We'll have a one drop left. And then we can just drop a nice 8-8. Eight, eight. And both of these are beasts, so we've got a good chance of this gaining Taunt. So this actually works kind of okay. No, a Jungle Moonkin, how could you? There's plenty of one mana beasts. Well, there's at least one one mana beast. I'm not entirely sure either way. Does he have spell power on his hero? Is that what's happening there? And a gnome. That sucks. He's still got four mana left to play things, too. I wonder if he's got an equality on hand, because that's going to make a big difference. No, Murloc Knight! Ooh, that's scary. That's very, very scary. But we do have an 8 8. I mean, obviously, he's going to hero power, and it depends entirely on what he gets. If he gets a wall leader, it's basically game over. Oh, come on! My poor devil saw reduced to a mere recruit eater. Just awful. No, yeah, that's fine. Just a general, generic Murloc. He's actually going to kill it. I mean, he can do perfectly with uh, all three of his trades, but I'm not sure that makes complete sense. Is he going to do it? He is going to do it. Unless he just ignores it now and just leaves this pathetic 1-1 one, one dinosaur. Oh, and he's got a second true silver. Just just waiting. Just, just in case, you know. Well, let's discover a 3. See if it can help us out here. Mind control tech, surprisingly... Kind of exactly what I wanted. Give me the Milk Knight. And it gives me literally the worst thing it physically could have given me. So that's absolutely great. I'm very pleased that it did that. Come on. Come on. I mean, I, I, I had a 75% chance of getting something fantastic. The Murloc Knight for obvious reasons. The Keeper would have been fine. It's a free free he's got to deal with. The other Murloc would have been fine because it then gets buffed up by any Murlocs that are summoned by the Burlock. Burlock? Yes, the Burlock Knight. Fortunately, he didn't get a buff Murloc, so it doesn't sting too much, but you can bet it still stings quite a lot. Now, we can Savage Combat and use that which is kind of nice. He can kill a free free with his hero power. He can trade his free free with my other free free, and then I've just got effectively no board. But that's fine. I'm going to draw the map to the golden monkey, and then the draw from that is going to immediately draw me the golden monkey. Then I'm going to play the golden monkey for four, and then have four mana left to play a four mana legendary that's going to totally save my bacon. My bacon is definitely going to be saved. I don't know about you guys, but... I believe in the power of my bacon saving. Let's just play the shade. I mean, at this point, we don't really care. And then we'll get rid of that, and we're kind of dead. Oh, well, to be fair, I have had a lot of fun doing this, and uh, we aren't ever going to win in a long, drawn-out match with just 30 uh, creatures. Even if they are the wonderful League of Explorers creatures, we would have had to have get gotten very lucky very fast, but... Such is life. Oh, God. just rubbing salt in the wound. So much salt has been wounded here. I wonder if he's going to kill my shade with a swing of his weapon. Just to really prove to me he he does not give any craps. I mean, it's what I'd do. I, I, what is he working out here? He's killed me. K kill me. You've got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then you're going to face me for an extra four. But I'm surprised he's not going for the casual BM. I mean, there's no way he doesn't have a damage in his hand. There's just, there's no way. There's no way, you know, there's no way. Oh, he's going to summon more Murlocs. He's realized that he should have gone for the buff just to, yep, and he gets the charge. <laughs> Why do I sound surprised? Oh, this was good. Okay, we still want to do the all battle cry. I do definitely want to do the old battle cry hijinks, but let me know what kind of shenanigans you'd like to see. Yes, sir. And for now, like if you enjoyed this wonderfulness and subscribe for more. We didn't find the tree. We forgot to the dark and then we failed exploring. So good, good times. <laughs> I love hijinks. A oh, good boy. Yeah.